Right, this is a lecture on homogeneous second order differential equations. And there should be one on inhomogeneous second order coming soon, if I can do it. Right, uh, to start off with, the second order is where the highest power is the second derivative, so y double dash. And one thing we'll need for this is the Ronskian. And this is, uh, we use this if we are given a solution, which I'll show you later. Right, now the Wonschkin is defined as W of Y1, Y2, where you have, this is the determinant of, now Y1 and Y2 are your two solutions to your homogeneous equation. And we have it Y1, Y1 dash, so the derivative, Y2, Y2 derivative. And of, this is equal to Y1, Y2 dash, minus Y1 dash, Y2. Uh, it's anti-symmetric, I think that's the word. So W of Y1, Y2 is minus W of Y2, Y1. But you can work that out by solving the uh, determinants here. If it's two of the same, that's equal to zero. Well, obviously, you'll get Y1 times Y1 minus Y1 times Y1, which is zero. Here, W of C1, Y1 plus C2, Y2, comma, Y3. You split it up similar to... Uh, conditional expectation in probability uh, you move the C1s and C2 they're constants, you move them out and you leave the Y1 and the Y2 and just add them, yeah, you can kind of see what's happened there W derivative equals minus PW, that's something you might need to use, and we can define the Ronsigan here as W, which is equal to C, some constant times the X e to the power of minus integral p of x dx and if you go back to first order homogeneous equations that's um, how you find the solution right the general solution is given in the form c equals y1 c1 y1 plus c2 y2 and we can use the Ronskin to find a solution if we are given one of the solutions. Um, so if we've given the, if we've given one of the solutions y1, then we can use y2 to find the rest. And the w is calculated here. Right. Example. Find a solution to x squared minus one times y double dash plus two x y dash minus two y. Right. Now, first things first we can look at this, so we're given one of the solutions and we can see that y equals x is a solution if we deriv uh, differentiate it we get 1 differentiate it we get 0, so this is all 0 this is all 1 and this is all x, so it's 2x minus 2x equals 0, so that's right next one we want to use the Ronskin to find the Ronskin so we do c e minus integral p dx and because we have to make this into a standard form, so y double dash on its own, we divided everything by two and by x squared minus one. So this is going to be our p of x, and this is our q. Of, oh, sorry, I didn't define that. That's p of x, and that's q of x. Um, we can do the integral here. What I've done is this is the derivative of this, so we can find out it's a log. And we've got the minus, so that comes to the power. So it's c over x squared minus 1, because the e and the log cancel. Right now, using this, we can now find our y2, which I which I defined here. So using that, we just sub everything in. y1, we've got x as our first solution. So we put all these in, put our w in, which goes underneath, because it's a uh, 1 over x squared. You, Ignore the constant C when you're calculating this. And what I've done here, from here to here, I've separated it using this, uh, I think it's called partial fractions. So this is how that's done from here to here. This has been separated like this. And you should be able to see what happens. I've made B equals 0 by X is 0, which makes this minus 1, so A is minus 1, and so forth continued. Right, this is the same equation as before. Again, what I've done, I've done exactly the same again with this section here, 
I've split it up into x plus 1 and x minus 1 here and it turns out you get a minus half here and a plus a half here. Now we can integrate it which is x times 1 over x minus a half log x plus 1 plus half log x minus 1. We're just taking the half out and we can see 1 is the differentiation of x and same there. So this and we multiply now. Now we multiply everything by this x at the beginning and we get uh, 1 over x times x is 1 plus x over 2 log x minus 1 over x plus 1 because if you subtract logs you divide them inside. So the general solution, this is our y2, we've got our y1 is the x, our y2 is this and it's been given in the form y equals c1 y1 plus c2 y2. Right now if you're not given a solution so if you're not given a first solution or you can't just find one straight off which is usually x then we substitute in y equals e to the power of mx where m is a constant and x is just your x and you use this to give you a quadratic equation uh, it will give you a quadratic equation which once you cancel out all the e to the mx's and it will give you two solutions y1 equals e to the m1x m1 is our first solution of the quadratic we'll get and y2 is e to the m2 of x our second solution now i've got a quick example here find the general solution to y double dash plus six y dash plus eight y equals zero this is a nice easy one so like i said we put this y dash in if we differentiate this once we'll get m e to the mx differentiate it again we'll get m squared e to the mx now all we do is we substitute everything into here and it'll give you this we can now we can see because it's homogeneous which is the only ones result we're doing we're working with today we can cancel all the e to the mx's here 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 and here give m squared plus 6m plus 8 equals 0 we can turn this into a quadratic equation m plus 4 m plus 2 which gives us solutions m is minus 4 and m is minus 2 so our two solutions are y1 equals e to the minus 4x y2 is e to the minus 2x and you can put that into your form of y equals c1 times e to the minus 4 plus c2 e to the minus 2x hope that made sense